Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Tamim. Today, I'll be showing you how to update your third brake light from a red brake light to a clear brake light on the 07 and up R230 models. In addition, I'll be showing you how to remove the four fin style grill and update it to the single fin style grill. Let's get to it. Kicking things off, this is what the original uh, third brake light came with with my car. It's all cracked and everything. The one that came with the car when I bought it was all cracked up and the previous owner tried to put some tin film on it to cover it up, but it really just didn't work out. So you see we've already taken out the interior trunk lid liner and the way we did that was opening the vario roof. So these two pads that when the top is down that come out are not blocking you when you take out the interior liner. Once you open it up, it's easy to unclip all the clips for the interior liner. Step two is to get a 10 millimeter ratchet. Look for the bolts that are holding the third brake light in place and start undoing the bolts to let the brake light get loose. Once the two nuts are removed, it's easy to just push it out. And it should come out fairly easily. There shouldn't be too much force going on in it at all. Just make sure you wiggle it a little bit and able to get it out and it pops right out. This owner decided to wrap the whole thing and prevent it from cracking even more. For us, our metal bracket that was on the original was still stuck inside the car. So we decided to use the original one. So I completely forgot to record the part where we actually slip it in, but it should be pretty easy. You just have one hand holding the bracket up in place. After you clip this part in, it just slides right in and it clips on just like normal. You put the bolts back in and it's ready to go. And here we go. This is what the third brake light looks like on the SL, super updated, looks way better than the red one, especially the one that I had originally on my car. And we put the bolts back in. We left the trunk liner out because we were still working on the rear end of the car uh, with the gas tank. But here it is, looks better than it did before. Now, onto that grill. So, to start off, step number one, get yourself an eight millimeter ratchet undo the bolts that are holding the grill in place and once you remove the bolts push the grill into the car it should slide out lift it up 
There you go. And take it out. And that's it. Now, here's a new grill that I got from 55 Tech on eBay. It looks super clean. And now we just install it the same method as we used before. Slide it in and it should slip right in. Put your bolts back in and that's it. You're done. Now for most of us, we would be done here. But me, being the idiot that I am, I wanted to paint it a different color. So I went ahead and did that and I damaged the crap out of it by painting it with a rattle can in my backyard. Do not do that. But what I did learn from it is that you can actually remove those chrome pieces and paint them separately. I am doing that right now. I am repainting my grill because I did such a horrible job on it. Anyway, I'm gonna show you how to remove these pieces. So what I basically did was I got a heat gun and I heated up each of these tabs. A few of them did break off, but that's fine. You can re-glue them back in place and it'll be way harder for it to come off at the end of the day. Push it in and it should lock in place and it will work just as fine. What I did was I grabbed some super glue and I super glued those tabs back into place. So glue the tabs back on and then in the back. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, take apart the headlight housing so you can open them up and paint them however you like and customize your headlights. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.